Hey guys, this is JT here, and today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions on Black Ops 2. Now, just before I start talking about it, um, I do have the game early. Um, I have not gone online because the online servers are down. So at this point, I have this is I'm doing this. I've only played four hours. I'd say about four or five hours last night. Uh, I'd say four, let's, let's say about two to three hours of the combat training, um, and then I spent about an hour or two last night playing. Um, campaign, but don't worry, no spoilers or leaks here. Um, unfortunately, I can't show any gameplay, obviously, until the 13th because we will get a strike and our channel will be taken down. Um, and I can't show you guys screenshots. I asked uh, Rick Mendoza with Machinima if I could show just screenshots at least, maybe. But instead, you guys get some uh, Moab gameplay. But anyways, let's start talking about uh, my first impressions. And this is coming from the first four hours. I'm definitely going to be doing another um, impressions video. After I get a few more, you know, more game time under my hands, but I really want to get this out there for you because I know not many YouTubers have the game yet, um, but they're going to be getting it quite soon. So things that I've noticed, and this is really the multiplayer, and this is um, combat training. So until we get the online gameplay, we won't really know how the lag and connection is. And like many people have said before, that can truly decide how a game plays. But anyways, other than that. First off, the first thing I noticed in Black Ops 2 is that it is extremely smooth. And what I mean by smooth is that, you know, you're not you're not glitching into objects and teammates. Um, it just feels very um, smooth movement, um, gun aiming, gun shooting. Um, another thing is the colors. The colors are much different, a lot more vibrant than uh, Monitor 3 or Black Ops. Um, you know, Black Ops is pretty depressing, but I really like the colors and especially the graphics in Black Ops 2, I think everyone is going to really enjoy them. One thing I want to touch on were the score streaks. They, rec they just recently increased the score streaks points. Um, I think they increased everything by about 200 score, 100 to 200 score. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty tough getting blackbirds and dogs and swarms and really, really high kill streak. I mean, obviously I was playing against combat training. Uh, I'm going to talk about that real quickly too, but... You know, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world, and it's definitely going to take time. But the high score streaks, they are extremely powerful. I mean, if you can get together, put together one, there's a, like a kill streak, like the Reaper from Modern for 3, or a Chopper Gunner, or Swarm. A Swarm will get you about, I'd say, 10 to 15 kills. Dogs, maybe about 10. Um, the Swarm just depends if they're out, if it's an outside map or inside map, because obviously you can hide from it if you're inside. Um, I'm probably going to do another video completely talking about score streaks in the next few days once I keep using all the different score streaks. I'm going to go through each and every one and which one I think um, are going to be used a lot, which one are the best, most powerful, etc. But that's going to be safe for another video. Um, I love the maps so far. I haven't tried out every single one. I really like the smaller maps, of course, but that's kind of just um, tends to my play style. But all the maps that I've played so far are nice. Um, I like the ones that are... Now, there are a few that are darker, and those are the ones that are, you know, a little bit more gloomy, but the, there's a few like hijacked, for example, you're on the boat, really vibrant, and I really like the map so far. One of the things I notice is that they're not, there doesn't seem to be one overpowered gun. Um, obviously, there are going to be guns that are better than the other, like the MS, MSCSE or something like that. Um, is one of the submachine guns that I think a lot of people are going to use, and the Type 25 is another assault rifle that a lot of people are going to use, but it's not like um, you have an ACR, an MP7, um, for example, the MP7 in Black Ops 2 has, they, they did it right this time, I think. It has a really high recoil, um, takes more bullets to kill. Um, but there, I love the gun so far, and I'm going to keep trying it out. I've only played for about two, three hours. Like I said, more guns I try out. And, I'm gonna, and again, I'm going to do another video if you guys want on the different guns, which ones I th like, which ones I don't like. Um, just trying to get it in real quickly. Um, you have many options for loadouts, obviously with the Pick 10 system. Um, this is one of the new additions in the game, but you can really, you can just create the class exactly how you want it, want it to be. And I, and I came in there thinking, you know, oh yeah, every single game I'm going to choose, you know, only guns, attachments, I'm not going to use any Simtexes. But real quickly I found out that this isn't the case and it really depends on the game type that you play. 
Um, you know, hard point, you're gonna you're gonna need equipment. I'm just telling you that right now. It's gonna make a big difference if you have a Simtex or C4 compared to you know no equipment, just perks. Well, the video is ending up, uh, guys, right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna probably put out another part to this video um, w within the next few days once I get a few more hours under my hands. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna be having much more Black Ops 2 content on the way. So thanks for watching the video, guys, and have a good day.